My name's Ian Hamilton. I'm the race director for the Outlaw Heart Falcon. Shortly, I'll be going through the race briefing for that event. However, to start with, I'd just like to say thank you very much for all of the really positive feedback we've had from the athletes from the Outlaw Heart and our team just last weekend. So, moving on to Holcomb, just also like to say thank you to the athletes, all of the crew, all of volunteers, and all of the local clubs that will be out there supporting us at this event. To ensure the event is COVID compliant and mitigate the spread of COVID-19, we've had to make some event changes. We've been working closely with British Triathlon and various other local authorities. We will be asking athletes to take lateral flow tests and ensure they have a negative result before attending the venue. If you are at all unwell, please don't attend the event and seek medical advice. We will be asking athletes to wear face masks when on site, but this is compulsory within the transition area. Please remember to stay socially distant whilst inside the transition area and whenever you're queuing up, you will notice transition is much bigger than it has been in the past. You will also see lots of sanitization stations that are around the event site, including on the course. Please use these regularly, including when you are racing. Health declaration. Please look out for an email from Active on Wednesday the 30th of June. This will include the link to your specific health declaration form. You must complete this health declaration form before you try to check in to transition on Saturday. Without completing your declaration form, you will not be allowed into transition. As I explained previously, as responsible event organisers, we are also asking athletes to take a lateral flow test. If you get a positive result, do not attend the event and follow government guidelines regarding isolation. Race packs. To continue our COVID compliance and reducing touch points, all race packs have now been posted out. If you have not received your race pack through the post by Tuesday the 29th, please call our office. It is shown on screen. Our office will be closing on Wednesday the 30th of June at 5pm. However, it is already too late to make any changes to any entries. I am sorry about that. Race packs will include your race number, your outlaw timing chip and strap, a swim hat, your security wristband, security stickers for your bike and your helmet. And if you're not planning to race, we have also included a return chip envelope. Please return your chips as soon as possible. If you do not return your chip, then unfortunately we will have to charge you £10. If you have purchased a car park pass, they will be sent out separately. Saturday. You can only rack your bike between 9am and 5pm on Saturday. We've given everybody allocated 60 minute slots when we would like you to turn up to rack your bike. When racking your bike, it is important that you must know your race number, you must wear your security wristbands and also have your security stickers already put onto your bike. Also, we will be checking your identification, so please bring along some type of photo ID, either your BTF license or another type, and also have your day license to hand. Saturday is a learning day. Spend time in transition, looking where the swim comes in, the bike goes out and in, and also where the run will go out. Spend time around the expo and the food village. Don't forget, please invite family and friends. It's a good opportunity to ask any last minute questions of any of the officials that will be on site. There will also be an option to visit enquiries which will be set up between 9 and 5 on Saturday as well. We do not recommend leaving anything on your bike overnight. Race day. Car parks will open at 4.45. Between 4.45 and 6am we will be using two gates for access. Northgate and Golden Gate. Please see the race information for the what three word references. At 6am, all cars must then use the North Gate only. 
Transition will open from 5am and this is a short walk from the car park. We're recommending that everybody arrives 60 minutes before their planned race start. There will be two entrances into transition, remembering that you must wear your security wristband, your helmet with stickers done up, a mask and bring all of your kit when you first come into transition. The bigger transition will allow for social distancing and you are able to keep your transition bag next to your bike. However, please remember, be sensible. Keep your bag approximately the same size as what you take on an aeroplane as hand luggage. Team information. Only one person will need to rack on Saturday. However, they will have to have completed health decorations by all the other members of the team and also their BTF licenses or day licenses. On Saturday, the team must also collect their cyclists and runners timing chips from the inquiries tent. On Sunday, the whole team must rack together. Due to COVID compliance, there is no physical tagging. The tagged athlete needs to be stood at the racking with the finishing athlete needing to get within five meters before the next athlete can go. The final finisher, the runner, will be able to collect both the swimmers and cyclists, t-shirts, medals and food vouchers after they've crossed their finish line. The swim. As you will know, there are no specific start times. Starts will be allocated in four minute gaps, with the exception of the PTO and the elite athletes. Swimmers will be called down in blocks of 100, but you will not need to start in your number order. Athletes from race number 100 and upwards will start in pairs every few seconds. The swim will be one lap, 1900 metres around the edge of the lake. You'll be swimming on the right hand side with your swim boys on the left at all times. At the large zone three cube swim boys, that's when you will turn hard left. Once you've exited the water, run around the bottom of transition and in transition at the bottom end. The swim cutoff is one hour, 10 minutes, plus 10 minutes for passing through transition from your individual start time. We have a large swim safety team, which includes kayaks and various motorized safety ribs. If you need help from our swim safety team, please shout, turn onto your back and transition. wave your arms if possible. And our swim transition team will be there to assist Transition has got various ins and outs. So it's certainly we recommend worth understanding mirrored goggles where you'll be going the on last race section day. of the swim the black line is likely for the to be check in towards the on both sun. saturday and sometimes Sunday. make it difficult in seeing you'll see the, the blue box. line this will be your if swim you do have a medical exit. condition at the bottom Please of the screen for a white or the red lines the which are your bike swim. out our and swim safety team your bike are aware in. that anybody with my medical if you see the yellow will be wearing that will be your run out onto the three legs from special eye on you the bike course the bike course is a single lap of 56 miles. The course is mainly on fully open roads with various managed junctions to assist you around the course. We recommend that you ride it as a normal open road as you would on any Sunday morning. Please be careful at each of the junctions. Please don't risk yourself or other road users to save a few seconds. We will be marking out the course during the week and it will be ready for recce in on Friday onwards. Please note, if you come to a junction and you need to turn, there'll be an arrow before the junction, an arrow on the junction and an arrow after the junction. But this is only when you need to turn. You will also see orange paint on the road. This is to advise you of potential danger areas. On the course, there are three types of vehicles. There are our NEGs. These are the motorbikes, which ensure you are riding within the rules of the sport and the rules of the road, but also have comms with the control room. We have two OSB event support vehicles, and they're there to support you 
from a mechanical point of view. Please ensure that you carry all of your own spares specific to your own bike. We also have medical support vehicles in case of any emergencies that we need to attend. There'll be a feed station at 34.7 miles. This is a new COVID compliant feed station where you are required to get off your bike and walk through. At the feed station, there'll be various high fives, so energy drinks and energy gels. Remember, here is an area where you can drop litter and there will be toilets. On Saturday, you'll be collecting two free 750ml bottles to use during the event. There will also be a tracker out on the bike course, taking splits at 1.5 miles and 28.5 miles. Litter. As you will be aware, we do not allow any type of litter being dropped other than in the litter zones at the feed station. Very simply, if you can carry it when it's full, you can carry the it run. when it's empty. The run is remember three laps you are of an undulating mixed terrain any litter, course. You will be disqualified. Please do not underestimate the, the cutoff run. for the bike time. There will be nine five feed stations, stations all approximately individual start miles time. apart. We've listened to feedback from the Outlaw Half Nottingham, and we will be upgrading each of the feed stations, so they now will all include water, high five energy. High five zeros, high five energy gels, both normal caffeinated as well as Coke and bananas. Each of the feed stations are where you're able to drop litter as well, and there will be toilets. When dropping litter, please look out for the red high five TerraCycle bins. As you'll be aware, it's tough to recycle gel wrappers. And High Five, working with ourselves and TerraCycle, are now isolating gel wrappers and are looking to recycle them completely separately into items such as park benches, pot plants and watering cans. Please help us and assist dropping your gel wrappers into the red bins. After three laps, you'll be able to turn right and go along the famous Outlaw finish carpet underneath the gantry. The finish. We have an awesome finish with an amazing backdrop for finish line photos of Holcomb Hall. Sadly, due to COVID restrictions, we are no longer allowed friends and family and relay teammates to join you on our famous orange carpet. When you have finished, please collect your t-shirts, medals and food vouchers. And if you're in a team, Please collect your teammates' medals, t-shirts and food vouchers as well. Athletes' food will be served in the Lady Elizabeth Wing, which you will see signposted from the finish line. Please remember to return your time and chip after the event and put your mask on before returning into the transition area. Just a few final reminders. For those people that can't make the event, we do have a live tracker so you can track your friends and family. Access those on race day at outlawtriathlon.com. For those people that are doing the event, don't forget to sign up via our last newsletter to AWOL, our new picture partners who will be doing 
facial recognition photography during the event. Also, unfortunately, due to COVID, we won't be doing presentation. All prize winners will be sent their trophies a couple of weeks after the event. For those people that have booked a camping pitch, it's important to show your electronic confirmation, which we'll be sending out to you again just a few days before the event. You're not able to upgrade your pictures and book an electric pitch when you get there. Unfortunately, that won't be possible as everything is sorted before the event. Remember, it's one pitch, one car, one tent. Any additional cars will be able to park in the overspill campsite. And so if they're staying on a pitch, they do not need to buy a separate car parking pass. Okay. Finally, finally, good luck to all of the athletes over the weekend. We wish you all the best. Have a safe and enjoyable event. And a final thank you to the crew, to the volunteers, and everyone that's going to make it a great day. Good luck, everybody. Goodbye.